Hi, this is Angelo, owner of AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com, where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes. Little houses all the way up to million dollar houses, mansions, you name it, uh, all the way up to six unit buildings. They all pay us a low flat fee and we're five stars everywhere. But we have good news for you and that's what this video is about. This video, we are going to tell you that uh, your next bill in July is very likely gonna drop and for some of you, it's gonna drop considerably. And we thought you might like to know that now, five months before it arrives, so you can start using those funds for other things, okay? So we're going to use a house, 1921 West Roscoe in Chicago. It's a random house I picked a couple blocks down from where my mom used to live. And we're going to take you first to some county websites. We're going to have you jot down some taxes, like your 2019 total, and then we're going to figure out your 2020 total. Right now, the first installment for 2020 has come out, and... Uh, there's more good news. That bill says that it's due March 2nd, but on Cook County Treasurer, I'll show you right now, cookcountytreasurer.com, uh, you follow the navigation over to the far right, news and video, click it again. The third one down, you can pay the first installment, property taxes through May 3rd without a late penalty. So that's great. Um, if you're paying the tax bill directly and you don't have the funds right now, you now have until May 3rd to pay it without penalty. Also, the Cook County Treasurer is letting you pay with an e-check on their website at no fee. And this year, they're also taking uh, credit cards, uh, debit cards with some kind of fee. Don't know how much, but good luck with that one. So um, if you need to download your tax bill, you can following either of these two, the purple or the blue right here. You're going to need your index number and we can get that for you right now. So let's get started. Um, if you have your index number on a tax bill that's handy, you can go ahead and plug it in on the right. If you don't, don't get up, don't go look for it. You're gonna have your index number in front of you in just a minute here with one click. You can put your address on the left side. And again, I said I'm gonna use 1921 West Roscoe. The first box is just for the number. You do not put the name in the first box, okay? The second box down, the name, uh, the street name, Roscoe. Third box down, city, Chicago. Don't worry about zip code, don't worry about unit number. Click search. Boom, there you go, 1921 Roscoe. And there's the index number. Don't need it right now, but go ahead and click this link and you're gonna see more details. Now normally in this big white space, you would see a photo of the house. Of course, it's not gonna work because I'm recording a video now. Uh, anyways, all property taxes are public information under the Freedom of Information Law. So here you can see this is David Nelson's home. Um, if you get like, hey, welcome to the neighborhood, try our pizza, David, they got your name from the tax bill. Um, if you know David, you want to tell him to call us, go to our website and sign up, and you're going to see why in a little bit here. Now, um, below the picture of the house, you will see a five-year tax history. I would like you to please jot down your 2020, which you will notice is half of the year below, uh, 2019. And here's why. Uh, the first installment is 55% of the year below. Okay, so this is the one that just came out, and it's 55% of this number right here. So go ahead and write 2020 first installment, jot it down, whatever yours is, and then write down your 2019 total taxes. Write that also, 2019 total taxes, okay? Now, real quick before we leave this page, I wanna show you a couple other, I'm gonna show you a couple other things, give you a couple more free pointers. Uh, over here, exemptions, these are discounts you get. There's one easy discount that you get just for living in the house from January 1st of 2020. That is the homeowner's exemption. It's $400 to $1,500 a year down on the South Side. And the South Siders are going to need it. And I'm going to tell you why a little later in this video. Um, but you won't see it for 2020 yet because that bill's not out yet. Okay, remember, only the first installment's out. The exemptions show on the second installment. So you're going to get two bonuses on your July bill. You're going to get your automatic discounts and the corona relief. So it should help considerably. Now, um, the years prior, these have been paid in full, 2019 and downward. If you see a one, it's usually the homeowner's exemption. If you see a two there, it's usually homeowner and senior. If you see a three, it's homeowner, senior, senior freeze. There are two exemptions for seniors. Okay, we sign up seniors every week and they're 80s and they're like, we say, hey, we don't see you getting your senior exemptions. Oh no, I make too much. No, 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 wait, there's two exemptions. Only one has an income requirement that you're under 65,000 household. And uh, that is the senior freeze. But if you make too much, you still qualify for the standard senior exemption just for being 65. You do not have to be 65 from January 1st. It's whatever year you turn 65. So if you turn 65 on December 1st, I'm sorry, December 31st of 
2020, you're going to get it on this next bill, okay? Um, if you see zeros here on these years and you've been there for a couple years, you're due some refunds. Our customers never pay for refunds, so we'd be glad to help you with that. Um, this year also, uh, some good news, the assessor mentioned they're going to automatically renew the exemptions you had in 2019. So if you see homeowner and senior here, oh, when you click on them, by the way, you can actually see what they were for, homeowner's exemption. So if you had the homeowners here, it'll be there in 2020, this July, five months from now. Um, again, tax bills come out a year late, okay? So we're in February of 21, but this July will be the second payment for 2020. Why do bills come out a year late? Two reasons. One year to save because they warn you. Sadly, most homeowners don't see the warning letter. Um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And two, you got one year to beat it down and fight it um, several times a year, which is what our customers do. Um, and every July gets easier, and every three Julys, they raise you again. The last thing you can do while you're on this page, if you scroll up here to the top right, you will see assessed value, okay? Um, 2020 assessed value, that's this number right here, the 75806. And if you add a zero to it, you will see the number right below. This is the estimated property value. So AV, if you take off the zero, it's the same, these two numbers, here and here. AV is 10% of the estimated market value. Now, if you click this blue five-year, uh, this assessed value history button, you can see five-year value history. Now, in 17 and 16, we see he was at this, add a zero again, and you'll know his value on his bill. He was at 616,000 in 16 and 17, and that was the end of that cycle. 2018 was the head of a new cycle, 18, 19, 20, 21, that's this year, Chicago... Uh, this coronavirus is about to get wiped out any day between now and July. And they're gonna, you're going to get like the double whammy. You're going to lose the coronavirus and you're going to get the increase. So next July can be very painful unless you get on top of it right now, okay? Look what they did to this house. They raised it from 616 to 877. Insane. They put 166,000, 160 something thousand on this house. And when you see the photo of it, it doesn't look like they've done 160,000 worth of improvements. But while we're still here, what did that do to his property taxes? Look at that. 2017, he was only 12,000. In 2018, he jumped to 16,6. He went up four grand on the last reassessment. Again, Chicago owners, 2021 is the next year they get to roll a new value out. They get to wipe out his and put it up, okay? So you wrote down your 2020 first installment. You wrote down your 2019 total. Let's get moving. Now we're going to, while we're here, we're going to scroll up and copy your index number. Make sure you don't get an extra space in there. You see that? Get just the right behind the zeros, right click, copy, or control C. Then you're going to head here to cookcountyassessor.com, okay? This is the taxing body. They're the ones who raise your value every three years. They're the ones who are going to raise all of Chicago between now and July. Um, again, most homeowners will not see the notice. Why? It goes to your mortgage company. And guess what they do? They shoot a three-pointer with it right into the garbage can. They don't give a crap because they're just going to skyrocket your mortgage when it hits the tax bill a year from now, unchallenged, okay? Um, our customers say, nah, -uh, screw that, and they start hitting it. Um, within three days of it being issued, the 30-day window is to fight it starts ticking. Within three days of it being issued, we send out nifty little emails, hey, action required, you know, 2021 appeal package, and we give you an evidence file that you upload to the county, and we keep helping you beat down that value every four to six months. And every three years, they put you up again, okay? So uh, on this website, cookcountyassessors.com, uh, they're telling you right here their offices are closed because of coronavirus. That's why they're also letting you renew and apply for exemptions online. They don't want to be opening envelopes from everywhere because of COVID. I get it. But you're going to mouse all the way over here to the right and click all forms and tools. And the first choice is going to be property search right there, okay? Click on that. And now you're gonna click in this top box, enter 14 digit pin. You can right click and choose paste, or you can do control V. And then you're gonna hit this uh, yellow little search box on the right. Click that, and here comes 1921 Roscoe. Now, does it look like this house has had uh, $160,000 worth of improvements? Uh, not in the photo, but um, you know, Maybe they did something uh, to, to justify that. I doubt it because I saw it for tons of my clients back in 2018. Um, now, when you're here, you're going to click on this, the assessed valuation, and it drops down. And right here at first glance, I can see this homeowner is going to be happy this July. Why? Because he has a much lower value than he had last July. 
Last July, this is 2019 taxes, he had an estimated market value of 833,000. Make this a little bigger for you guys. And this July, he's going to see 2020 value for the first time and the Corona relief, 758,000. It dropped 70,000 in taxable value. And right here, you can read, you know, 2020 assessed value, certified values include adjustments where applicable for COVID-19 effects on property. Okay. Now, some of this could have been through appeal relief also. You know, maybe he fought some appeals. I checked his appeal history and you can check yours down here. Here's a fun fact. If you use a lawyer, you're probably not going to see much here. I'd say 75% of our competition doesn't even try at this agency. They wait for a better agency called the Board of Review. Click on the appeal history and it drops down. This guy did try it. And the assessor is very stubborn. They like to say no a lot or give you 10% of what you deserve. Um, last year, they got better. They started letting you upload evidence sheets like the other agency has been doing for a decade. In the past, the assessor would say, here's six boxes. Go put in the PIN numbers of the other homes like yours that you think are paying less and we'll go look it all up. I doubt it, you know. So again, they're the taxing body. It's their job to get the money, keep the money. It's our job to keep it in your bank, not theirs. So he tried, but it was it didn't change. The numbers stayed the same. That means the assessed value not adjusted, okay? Um, and they give a little reason, like they looked around the market value, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, he could have won at the second agency, the Board of Review. Don't know. Um, but we're going to stay focused on this example for now. So back to assessed value. Um, what we need for our website is a magic number, and that's the difference between the two AVs, total assessed value. So we're going to take the higher 2019 AV at 83000 and we're going to subtract the lower 2020. So you can do the same thing on your property. Take your 2019 AV, and I'm going to bring up the calculator and do this one for you guys right here. Uh, I, I'll do it again. Uh, 83304 that's the higher 2019 total assessed value. Be careful, there's land assessed value and building assessed value. You don't want those. You want the total assessed value column. And then I'm going to subtract the lower 2020, which is mm, 75,806. Enter. And this is the magic number that our website, Coronavirus Savings Calculator, needs. You're going to take this number and your PIN number, which you can copy again right up here if you didn't get it the first time. Right click copy. And the magic number from the calculator. And you're going to go to our website and you're going to click, I want to calculate Corona savings. Right here. Boom. Calculate Corona savings. And you're going to scroll down to see these boxes. In the first box, it says enter your PIN number. Again, you can right click paste. And if it turns red, you might have an extra space in front or behind it. So just clean out the extra spaces. And then the magic number from the calculator, 7498. And then click on this savings, calculate savings. Boom. There you go. This house is dropping $1,506. Okay. Now we have to do a little bit of math. We want to figure out um, what the July bill is going to be. So Let's do that math. You wrote down a couple numbers, right? So here we go. This house, and I'll show you again, had a 2019 total taxes of 16,000. Now we're going to subtract the coronavirus. And here it is again, so you can see it with your own eyeballs. 16,000 total tax minus the 1,506 coronavirus equals new 2020 taxes, 14,451. Now, because the first installment's out, you can go ahead and subtract that. It's high because it was 55% of the year before when you had the much higher value, right? Now we can subtract from the 14,000, the 8,826, the first installment. That was the top number. Again, I'll go back and show you guys just so you can see it. That's right here, the first installment. Take that off. And what is left? Boom. Your second installment is the difference, $5,700. It's dropping 3100 bucks lower than the first installment. Crazy, okay? That's a lot of cash and a lot of people, they need money right now. So again, this arrives in July of 2021, okay? Um, now your banks, um, if your taxes are included in your mortgage, they're not gonna see a $3,000 drop. What they see is what you paid last year and what you're paying this year. When they see the difference between these two numbers, they usually adjust the mortgage a month or two later, August or September, and they divide that savings by that number by 12. Okay. So like I said, I know a lot of you could use that money right now. 
and you got you know better places it could go to. So if you appreciate the information here, um, please do like the button. Just hitting that like button. I, I don't. Uh, our YouTube is not monetized. We only have a couple hundred subscribers. Just recently, we asked our customers to start subscribing, um, and also hit the like button because what it will do is it'll put me ahead of all the other 1100 chumps that are still raking taxpayers over the coals for 30 to 50 percent during these very difficult difficult times so um we are five stars everywhere facebook google yelp a plus rating with the better business bureau go check it out then come back to our website and if you know you're overtaxed if you've like talked to the neighbor with the same size house just go ahead and hit our sign me up page that's right here in the middle sign me up um, you will see our most popular package in front. You'll see our website sorting by most popular. That is our three-year package at 225. It's 40% off. We started with just the one-year package over here on the right, 125 a year. And what we realized is several hundred a year forget to renew it on time. They all renew. We have a 98% retention rate. You don't want to know what happens to the other 2%. <laughs> we say move out or move up, knock on wood. Um, and then over, uh, we, then we created the three-year package, and we've had that now almost five or six years, 40% uh, off at 225, divide it by three, you're only spending 75 bucks a year. Uh, you may also wanna take the deadline reminder phone calls. We email out the package within three days of the 30 day window opening and the deadline reminder calls call you a day or two before it closes on you so you don't get locked out. Saves a lot of butts every year. So again, uh, you probably know someone who's stressing, hanging onto the house by a hair. Please go share this video on your Facebook. Um, and again, just that like button and the subscribe that puts me on top of the competition. So um, they have been uh, messing with me for years. And um, at first I just wanted a little bit of the pie. Now I'm coming back for all of it. So um, it's just a much better way of doing things. If you're paying a percentage, you're doing it wrong. If you're using a lawyer who's only helping you the first year, I'm sorry, he's costing you money. It was fine to help someone the first year only and forget him for three years. 15 years ago when property value always went up, Nobody ever heard of losing. Now property value is going like this and you wanna fight each and every year and you wanna chase the lowest homes every four to six months. And our research database helps you do just that. It will keep building appeal packages for you until you are within $200 of the lowest homes. And when you get there, then it'll say, congratulations, your appeal window is open, but you can relax. You are one of the three lowest homes, your class, your construction in your neighborhood. You can skip this step uh, and high five yourself, enjoy it for a little bit and, and relax. But um, you do nothing, you get nothing. Uh, check out our videos page, Get Wiser Videos. Uh, videos that tell you, you know, don't worry about the unfinished basement. None of that crap matters. Um, tricks that Cook County plays on senior citizens, okay? Um, another category, um, video testimonials, our happy customers. This lady got more than five grand back. She brought in pork adobo, Filipino style, for all of our staff. It was really nice of her. Um, we didn't charge her a nickel for that $5,000. She got 100% of it. When I got rid of our percentage for reductions, I also got rid of our percentage for refunds. Our customers get all of it. Um, this lady talks about a bow and arrow. <laughs> we gotta go watch it. So a um, lot of happy customers here. Uh, my favorite, dump your lawyer. Uh, they really like that one. Uh, remember, it's two 30-day windows each year, about six months apart. If that window is not open, and they're not open yet, you can send them a letter. Hey, as of today's date, do not do anything else on my property. I will not be responsible for anything you file on my property after today's date. Sign, date it, mail it to them. Also drop it in email because you can prove what you said in email. And, and you're out. And then go to our website. Sign me up. And you're in. And you're, you know, you're taking care of it. It's a very simple PDF file. It's an evidence file that you upload to the county in a couple minutes. Uh, most of my clients have their teenagers do it. And you're done. As soon as you submit it, you get a decision two to three months later. And every four to six months, you just keep getting decisions. And we just keep kicking it down, kicking it in the knees. Do nothing, they're gonna keep kicking you. So uh, again, uh, love to have you. Um, we're a family business. You might wanna check that out too. This is a nice family video dedicated to my mom. Um, my story here a little bit and um, how uh, my mom has always been the, the man in our family also. Uh, bless her heart. She passed away two and a half years ago. but. Uh, I hope that we'll all get through this. I miss all of you guys very much, and I hope that we can see each other again soon. Until then, let's kick some butt together. Take care. Have a nice day.